Because I am currently the most talked about forex trader on the internet right now. Why? Because guys, all the blogs are currently carrying the news that Dapo Willis, my humble self, has become the richest forex trader on the African continent. Yes, guys, it is official. They have declared that I'm worth $300 million. I don't know how they got to hear about this, but we just recently signed a new deal with our, with our um, investment partners over in Doha, the fund management deal. You guys know I manage a significant amount of money. So we just renewed the deal. And to the best of my knowledge, the deal is quite confidential. So I have no idea how word got out, but the word has gotten out and my fund management capacity has increased significantly and so has my net worth as well. That's absolutely massive. However, that's not why I'm here. You see, at the end of the day, I can have all this money, but I mean, what doesn't make any difference to you guys? I'm not the type of person, I'm not the type of forex trader who will constantly come and throw flashy things in your face. You see, it means nothing to you guys if I don't impact you guys positively. And the only way to do that is through videos like this. You see, guys, I want to speak to you guys as to how I was able to trade my way into success. Like the topic of this video implies how to trade your way into success. A lot of people stumble, struggle along the way. A lot of people, the truth is a lot of people actually just don't make it. And that, that's just a bit, that's just a, a sad fact, you know, but Dapper Willis has been able to make it. And if I can make it, you can make it too. If you believe you can make Forex trading the game changer for you, I want you guys to go ahead and type an amen down below. If you believe, that the God of Dapo Willis that I serve, I'm a Christian, you might be a Muslim, whatever thing it is, you, 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 but I know there's a supreme being. So if the supreme being up there can answer Dapo Willis prayers by making him very, very rich and very successful in Forex trading, he can do it for you too. So if you believe that Forex trading, that the supreme being up there can use Forex trading to change your life, I want you guys to type an amen down below. Type an amen, let's go. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> guys, I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. Um, you guys know I, I was just recently on, on one of the biggest trading podcasts in Africa, um, the Mr. Peak Show. Uh, it's called the I can't remember the name of the podcast, but the, the host is Mr. Peak. Absolutely amazing guy. And I went on there, you know, to share my full story. It was a full story. It was, it was absolutely crazy. Um, but I'm not here to reshare my story. You guys already know the story. I want to talk about, you know, realistic steps to actually trading your way to success. And who better to hear it from than from the, from, than from the most successful Forex trader out there, literally right now, verified, trackable with results and everything. Who better to hear it from? But before I get into, um, obviously, like the video, the, the, the title of the video implies trading your way to success. I want you guys to do yourself a favor and smash the subscribe button right there. Smash it right there so that you don't miss out on very educational videos like this. I mean, who better to learn from than from Dapo Willis, okay? One thing about me, I don't beat around the bush. I don't fluff around. I'm not here to confuse you with any Lamborghinis and Ferraris. If you want to see all the fancy cool stuff I have, I have another for, I have another YouTube channel called Keeping Up With Daps. All the lifestyle stuff is there here. We're here to talk real business. So smash the subscribe button, smash it right there so we can get into the gist of today. How did Dapo Willis do it? Now guys, for most of you who probably already know, if you know, you don't know, uh, I was just a regular 17 year old kid in West Africa, Nigeria. Um, yes, I am Nigerian. <laughs> people are like, the Nigerian prince is here again. I'm like, guys, relax. You see the thing about, you know, people that come from that part of the world, very intelligent people, you know, um, it's just not enough resources, uh, not just not enough opportunities available. And that's why, you know, people just turn to crazy things. But I feel like, you know, very, very hardworking people as with most of my African brothers as well. So that's where I, I pretty much was. And, you know, fortunately for me, I, I stumbled on, you know, a share certificate one day and I, I realized that my grandfather had left me um, my inheritance. I, I, I mean, he passed away while I wasn't there. I miss him so much. I miss him dearly. I love you, daddy, if you're wherever it is you are in heaven watching this. I miss you so much, so dearly. Um, I don't get to say this often, but I miss him so much. Anyway, so um, he had bought me some shares about worth about $2,000 um, and I stumbled on it. And long story short, I liquidated it and I was like, you know what? You know, as with every young guy, you know, out there, you're just saying to yourself, you know, 
I'm 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I need to get my life together. You understand? And luckily for me, I realized I needed to get my life together a lot earlier on in life. I was 17, you know? So as with every other 17 year old, you know, I grabbed my laptop and I started looking for ways to make money online, um, liquidated the shares and I got busy. And as God will have it, I stumbled on the Forex market. <laughs> and as you guys know how the story goes, your first encounter with Forex is always, <sighs> yo, it would, it would, it would, Forex will test you, okay? Without a doubt, and like the video implies, trading your way to success, I have to be very honest with you guys. And you guys want to stick around to the very end of this video because I have a lot of things to share with you guys, you know. So the new street, you know, you get into the game and the very first thing you encounter is obviously um, you go on baby pips, you read baby pips, and then you feel like you've learned a lot. Then, you know, you try uh, the first thing you encounter is indicators. You know, you want to use your moving average crossovers, you know, stuff like that. You try moving average crossovers. Uh, it works sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes. Then you go over to Bollinger Bands. You try Bollinger Bands. You try RSI. You try MACDs. You try all the indicators. You know, guys, it's crazy. You know, so I tried everything. And then after that, you then graduate into the phase of news trading, you know, NFP, CPI. Ah, you try all these things in the interview. I was literally going over how I had this NFP strategy at the time, you know, absolutely blew. NFP blew my inheritance, okay? NFP, you know, I tried to trade NFP several times and over. So the little, the, the money that my grandfather had left behind for me, you can imagine, <laughs> my inheritance was blown by NFP. So fast forward, you know, all the fast forward a couple of months later almost a one year because it usually takes you about one year you know you know for you to get figure out your life out you know in the forex industry and you know by the first year and a half i already knew that news trading not gonna work indicators as a matter of fact i spent so much money on indicators at the time when i came into forex indicators were a thing they were a huge thing and you know i spent so much money on the indicators nothing came out of it you know i spoke about how i bought you know a, a, an indicator a repaint indicator for a thousand five hundred dollars yes literally like i said on the interview you tell you to sell here you forex traders you know you know you see an indicator that tells you sell you click sell if the market doesn't sell off and continues going higher the indicator will go away and put it higher and tell you to sell until it will, on, it will keep telling you to sell until the market actually sells off and it will keep the indicator there. And in hindsight, it, the indicator looked very profitable, um, but in real time, it wasn't working. And then obviously, I stumbled on very, very dodgy mentors as well. People just trying to sell you stuff and all that. So I've been through it all. And the gospel truth is, this is a natural progression for Forex traders. So if you're in this phase right now, whereby you don't know what to, what should, what, what is going to work, what's not going to work, you know, all these things, you're trying this, it's fine. My advice to you, keep on trying them, but you want to try them and try them as quickly as possible, right? And that's exactly what I did. So because the gospel truth is, you need to be able to try these things so that you can be certain that they don't work. When you're certain that something doesn't work, you never, ever look at it again. And then as time went on, and um, fortunately for me, um, I, was opportune, the, the, I, was, I was given the opportunity to, 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 to go to the United Kingdom for, for a fantastic education. And whilst I was in the UK was actually when, you know, things for my trading really started to change. Now, if wherever I teach you are, you might be watching this from Nigeria, Ghana, Uganda, South Africa, even in London, New York, Australia. Wherever it is you're working this in, in the world, um, just know that whatever thing it is that you're looking for, that missing piece that you're looking for is probably just within, around you. I just didn't happen to find my missing piece in Nigeria. <laughs> and I'm not saying that it's not in, 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 in the African countries. I'm just saying for me, my own story was a bit different because I was opportune to meet my mentor in a Starbucks uh, coffee shop in London. Uh, like you guys know, I was just given the opportunity to go overseas to, to have a very fantastic education, courtesy of my family. Um, so I don't think the the, 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 the the lesson here is about me leaving my country. I think the lesson here is about divine intervention because I had believed, you know, I was praying really hard. And, you know, one day, you know, it was just my family members just came to an agreement like, yo, this boy needs to go to the UK. He's very intelligent. 
and we feel like he would um, he would do fantastic if he went overseas. So I was just in the Starbucks coffee shop one day, and you know my mentor, came, uh, one guy just towering over me, just looked at my trading. And long story short, um, he just pretty much concluded that I was just doing rubbish. <laughs> my trading, this, 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 this boy, if he continues like this, he would destroy himself. You know, so, you know, these were some very life defining moments for me, you know, in the Forex industry. And then meeting my mentor pretty much really helped me. And, um, and this is why I always encourage a lot of Forex traders out there. Uh, mentorship is very important. Don't get me wrong. Uh, mentorship is extremely important without meeting my right, the right mentor. And don't worry, guys, I'll be sharing with you guys uh, a recommended mentorship program that I'll obviously recommend to you guys so that if you're struggling right now, you can absolutely change your life in the near future. So sit down there and go nowhere. You know, so mentorship without a doubt, changed my trading for the better, 1,000%. Mentorship changed my trading for the better, 1,000%. And, you know, at the time, I think I paid about 3,000 pounds for my mentorship program. And I would go online and we had that, then it was Skype, there wasn't any Zoom. So what did I learn from, you know, from my mentorship? What I, what I deduced the most from mentorship was, you know, see, my mentor literally helped me understand that lower time frame trading was what was destroying me indicator signals um, all these things do not work okay what you want to do is you want to be able to do a proper top-down analysis okay at the time he didn't say it was top-down analysis so what we what I was learning from him was you know how to analyze from uh, the big the, the big banks perspective okay how to look at the Forex market from the perspective and the eyes of the traders who actually move the market because he used to work for Goldman Sachs. He was a senior um, Forex trading um, personnel, FX, tra FX he, was, he was a senior FX trader and FX and derivatives trader for Goldman Sachs. Senior, I think right now, I think he retired as a vice president at Goldman Sachs, huge guy. You know, so um, what, what I learned from there was very simple. You see, this is why I always come on my YouTube channel to explain this to you guys. You want to be able to analyze like the people that actually move the market. And that's exactly what he taught me. Um, he said, Daps, try and do your analysis from a higher time frame perspective um, and always compare your analysis to what the big boys are doing. This will really help you because think about it, guys, it's logic. This is where things get very logical. If you're trading and you're analyzing and your analysis and your analysis is matching up with the people that actually move the market, there's no way you won't be profitable. You will 1000% be profitable. So that was my primary goal. How can I analyze? Because in the, those boys are not using, uh, <laughs> those boys are not using signals. They're not trading NFP. Well, the NFP, obviously you have a lot of liquidity during NFP. Don't get me wrong. Traders actually trade during NFP. Um, but that's not what is making them profitable, right? Just the NFP is just traders reacting to the news. And, and after that, for like 20, 30 minutes, it's done. Trust me, that's not what's making the money. Okay. So I had to understand what is making these big banks profitable? How are the traders on the trading desk trading the Forex market that is making them so profitable? So I started to ensure that anytime I analyze the Forex market, okay? Anytime I analyze the Forex market, I wanted my analysis to mirror what I was seeing, you know, with the big boys. And he, he pretty much untangled my, you know, it's just like an iPhone cable where you have everything tangled up. He just detangled everything for me. And my mentorship was over. I learned so much from him and it was time for me to venture on my own. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly how I took, um, my trading knowledge and I developed on it. So I, you know, learned, uh, uh, I, I learned how to use Fibonacci properly. I started to learn how to use, you know, count the waves properly. I started to understand, you know, how I started to understand that what a lot of people take for granted in the Forex market is actually what works. Price, price, price action is king. Yes. Price, you cannot beat price action. And then fast forward after meeting my mentor, I, you know, you know, when, you know, when, when, you're, when you're steadfast, it's just like you've learned something from somebody and it's just like riding a bicycle. You know, you, first of all, you're riding on the two side wheels, two side wheels, and then they remove the two side wheels, but somebody's still holding the bike, but you're still riding, you're still riding, and then, and then they leave you to continue riding and you ride. You don't even realize they've left you, but you're going. 
because you still think you have support and you look back, you don't see anybody and then you fall. And then they put you on the bike again and then they push you. And this time around, that was how Dr. Willis was able to ride and understand how to ride this bicycle called Forex. I became within maybe like three, four months after taking my mentorship program, I became a total expert in Forex. I woke up one day and I realized that I wasn't right nine out of 10 times, huge. I was just doing my analysis and I'll just be like, fam, this thing worked, it played out so well, you know, absolutely amazing well. And that was exactly how I developed, you know, an approach to the Forex market called the top-down analysis. Absolutely brilliant strategy. You see, the top-down analysis was actually the changing and turning point in my Forex trading career. I used the top-down analysis, you know, First of all, I went on to make a lot of money for myself personally. You see, when you wake up one day, you're right now. Every trade I was touching, and I think my one of my best trading years was 2014 into 2015. The, the US dollar was trending fantastically well. There was, a, there was a period of what they call quantitative easing at the time. You know, so ah, the euro was just crashing. AUD USD was dropping. Like I'd done my projection. And the good thing about the top-down analysis is it allows you to project thousands of pips into the future. So I would literally project one, two, three thousand pips a euro USD drop. I think euro USD dropped about 1,800 to 2,200 pips throughout the period of the year. I'd seen the whole drop before it happened. So I started shorting it from the top. Euro USD dropped. GBP, obviously, anywhere Euro USD goes, GBP USD will go. <laughs> GBP, GBP USD will follow Euro USD anywhere, you know? The, all the US dollar pairs all move the same way. They're all the same. They're groupies, <laughs> you know? So, and then US, um, GBP USD moved, Euro USD, AUD USD moved as well. So 2014 into 2015 was actually what gave me that ultimate confidence in myself as a Forex trader because the top down, I went on to make a whole lot of money that year. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you're interested in learning more about the top down analysis, I've put it together in a trading program called the Forex Mastery Course. The link is going to be in the description as always. It's just 99 bucks. Ensure to grab it so that you can and change your forex trading story i know i keep talking about the forex mastery program but why not i mean the top-down analysis was absolutely what changed my life so why not like i put together i've been trading for 13 years now 13 whole years a long time i've put together about you know 13 years worth of trading experience i've condensed it in the trading program so look at me it took me three years to be profitable you don't need to spend three years being profitable. You don't need to spend three years being unprofitable and struggling. No, learn from the best, okay? I've, instead of spending three years trial and error, the program will take you about one and a half, two weeks. It's literally, you go on there, you click the link. Once you get the course, it delivers to your email. Or you get it delivers to your email. You log in on the Willis University portal. Depending on how quick you are, you can learn what took me 10 years to learn. You can learn it in two weeks. Yes, entry strategies, exit, top-down analysis, everything. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, click the link down below in the description or around here somewhere to get yourself the Forex Mastery Program that has the top-down analysis. So moving on from that, um, trading with the top-down analysis, now I'm very confident. Every So this is about 2015. So now I'm very extremely confident. Though. I'm confident and because... I mean, I'm doing analysis on everything. Good thing about the top-down analysis is it gives you the opportunity to, to do your analysis on every single instrument. I was analyzing gold, analyzing uh, crude oil, coffee. I'm not just talking about Euro, USD, AUD. I did, or Forex was norms. I did, guys, there was one trade I took on NOCSEC. Yes, NOCSEC. He was walking. <laughs> top-down analysis to the world. The Forex mastery course to the world. I was learning, like it was working, you know? So that gave me the absolute confidence that I needed. You know, I was doing analysis on gold, crude oil, even uh, natural gas. You guys don't know, any instrument you want to trade, even cryptos as well, it was working for every single thing. And I was very excited. So, you know, after that, um, with, with the confidence, with making money from the top-down analysis and obviously making some good money for myself in 2015. Don't forget, I was in like, I was the second year of university. I was a student, was it? No, first year. I was in first year of university. My friends would be around the house playing. I would just be upstairs trading. All my friends, literally, when I was in university, all my friends, they were going out, because it's the UK now, you have to work. 
But when you have to hustle, though, my friends were working in Nigerian restaurants, um, working at, uh, there was a place in Coventry called Rico Arena. <laughs> my friends, they would go and work for Rico Arena for £6.50 an hour. They would come back, they would be so tired. Hey! My friends, they come back, they would be tired, bruv. You know, they would be like, oh, that's it. Ah, today was long, but they'll be serving drinks. They'll come back. Maybe they work four, five hours, six hours. Because there were students, they couldn't really work that long. Maybe seven hours, maybe 10 hours at best. Imagine you work 10 hours, you only come back with 65 pounds. It might seem like a lot in your exchange rate right now, but guys, 65 pounds, what are you, in the UK, 65 pounds, you're in the, maybe in the US about $80. And they could only work once a week, once every weekend. Ah, it was, it was, they were not finding it funny. And there I was upstairs in my, I, I, the, I, my my so the way my apartment my my, my the house was um, I was in my house looked like my, my room looked like a penthouse so it was actually like cave like this was beautiful had my screens I know and everything was amazing time I would just be upstairs you know just talking to girls and trading <laughs> I had like Saint Remy on the table so. As a student, I was absolutely bawling and bawling on all my friends because of the top-down analysis, you know. So the top-down analysis gave me a lot of confidence, you know. And one day I got wind of the fact, uh, I got wind of the fact that a, a certain billionaire was, was in Coventry. He had come for his niece's graduation. You know, I'd actually seen it on one of my friend's stories on Snapchat. Then Snapchat was, was what was popping, not really even Instagram. Um, so I seen, I seen the guy, I'm like, how much this guy is in town? So I called my best friend and he was like, yo, he's actually in Coventry. Like he came for his niece's graduation. Long story short, you know, grab, told my friend, meet me there. I grabbed my comb. I rushed there, you know, and I'm waiting outside for this billionaire to come out. I didn't even know what I wanted to tell him at the time, but See, with the top-down analysis, it gives you confidence. When you know how to trade Forex, you're con like, I'm like, I would talk, I felt like a finance bro. Because think about it, if you can analyze the Forex market, and you're right nine out of 10 times, all these other finance bros are not really bros because then they're talking about mergers and acquisitions. Is, uh, you are the trader that is making money. Don't get it wrong. For every financial institution, the most prized possessions are the boys that work in the treasury, the trading desk. Those are the boys that actually make the money. Every other person is just analyst, risk, this, that. If you are a trader and you can make money, you are a finance bro. You don't even need to study finance in university. That's how power, powerful Forex is and that's how powerful the top-down analysis is. So I felt like a finance bro, you know, so he came out, you know, and I introduced myself to him, you know, at the time, obviously, he, <clears throat> he's, a, he's an African, African billionaire as well. So because obviously he's overseas, not a lot of people knew him, you know, so everybody was just like, you know, we don't really know him. So not a lot of people were around him. So I had the opportunity to actually talk to a Nigerian billionaire one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and I told him about the analysis I'd done on crude oil, and I projected that with the top-down analysis that crude oil was going to drop from $85 a barrel all the way down to 25 And I told him that um, he had a lot of exposure um, to, uh, he had a lot of exposure in, in the international market because he had a lot of loans. Obviously, billionaires take loans, and they don't always use their money to do projects. Um, he had a lot of loans at the time with international banks, and I said, if crude oil dips, the Nigerian stock exchange will dip. And we all know what that you know, does for your network and everything. So I think it's only advisable for you to look into what I've seen, said um, very carefully and adjust your investment portfolio accordingly because you will get hit. I'm just giving you some heads up, you know. So I just, you know, like a kid, you know, just like a rapper, like can you, like you know, like when Whiskey was, you know, hustling to, you know, to 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 get a record deal, or when Kanye West was hustling to get, you know, a record deal, or when Justin Bieber was. So that's how I was. I was just like, you know what? I know I'm good at this. Like, I'm good. I'm right nine out of ten times, you know. And that was exactly how the conversation ended. He was just like, okay. He told his PA take his number. We exchanged numbers, me and the PA. And I didn't hear from them for another seven, eight months. And then one day I just got a call from them. Oil did drop. It didn't just drop to twenty. I did, I did a projection from 80, 85 to twenty eight. It dropped from eighty five to twenty five. They called me up. Long story short, I was got on a, they sent me out on a private jet. That was my first ever encounter on a private jet. Flew me out to his home, uh, to, his, to, to, to his location, um, his home country at the time. 
And yeah, that was exactly how I was able to seal my first investor. So these are life defining moments for me. Um, I don't want to enough about my background. So these were, I just wanted to give you some context. So these were the background stories for me that, you know, really motivated me and really pushed me on to, to carry on in my Forex journey. I didn't just wake up overnight and have all this money. That wasn't even the case. Not at all. Not at all. And then, you know, start trading. Uh, the first investment I got was about $1 million. I grew it very significantly all the way to $3 million. And me and him have been very good friends ever since. He's my guy. Um, one, of the, one of the richest black men in the world, actually. He's my very good friend. Uh, he's like a mentor to me as well. So shout out to your uncle. He's probably watching this. Um, he gave me a call when he saw my podcast interview. He told me, congratulations. I always believed in you, blah, blah, blah. So thank you, uncle. I can't mention his name due to confidentiality reasons, but he's one of the, if not the <laughs> biggest boy. <laughs> shout out yeah. to you. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. And then um, I remember, so obviously I got, you, you, you start making a lot of money as a student, start making money. And then obviously I moved on to trying to preach the gospel of Forex. And then people started trading Forex. And then obviously people started losing money. Once again, guys, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm getting a message on my laptop telling me, uh, all right, cool. So my team is just messaging me. <laughs> More congratulation messages are coming right now as I'm talking to you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it. Once again, guys, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, it has the top-down analysis inside. You want to be able to manage funds for some top people, click the link down below and grab yourself the Forex Mastery Program. Do it right now. It's literally inexpensive. Anyway, so carried fast forward a couple of years after that. I'm not a big boy making all this money, managing money funds for, for an investor, managing money for myself. I'm chilling, I'm doing well. I decide to obviously start preaching about Forex, telling more people about it. I'm going from different universities to different universities in the UK, telling people about um, Forex, you know, and obviously I'm like, you know, okay, you know what? We can, I can actually spread the gospel about Forex. If I can do it, everybody else can do it. However, there came a time, there came a time in my Forex journey where I actually stopped trading Forex. There was this particular man at the time you know, he was, uh, he was an uncle of my, I won't say uncle, but he's not a family friend. You know, was family friends. I told him, uncle, listen, you need to get yourself educated. Like, nah, that part, don't worry. I'll put my money in Forex. I'll, I'll be a billionaire. I'll make money overnight. You know, what can you tell me? I'm a small boy. He put his money in Forex. He lost all the money. And um, I was really sad because obviously he came and told my mom, like, I'd, I'd, I'd led him astray and blah, blah, blah. I was making money from my trading. I was doing very well, you know, but... I was just unhappy because I felt like I'd let him down. I let my family down, you know. So, guys, ladies and gentlemen, that was how I decided that I was going to quit Forex in 2016. Long story short, one day my mom came. After I quit Forex in 2016, I went broke. I'm like, I want to do other things. All the money I'd made from fund management and everything, I stopped trading. I used the money to do other things. I went broke. Guys, never listen to people. There are people out there that don't believe in you, especially this forex trading journey. I know why I'm highlighting on all these points. Never listen to people. Keep what on your forex vibe. Keep on your forex trading journey. You know. So, 2017, I think it was 2018. I came back into forex. I went on like a two-year break. One day, my mom is like, "Dapo, you need to go back to forex, man. Forex is your thing. Forex is your thing." And I'm like, okay, mom, let me give it another try and everything. Mind you, I didn't leave Forex because I wasn't profitable. I left Forex because I was, I listened to people. I listened to the wrong people and I felt like I was letting people down. But one day I woke up and I'm like, you know, it's not my, my fault. Like, no matter how many times I tell people, use the top-down analysis, use this. Some people will still want to gamble away their entire life net worth, which doesn't make any sense. So I just realized, just made peace with the situation. So I said, it's not my fault, you know, and... I'm like, all right, cool. So what happened was I got back into Forex in 2018. And, you know, because of the fact that I put so much Forex documents together in terms of chart work, videos and everything, I, I think at the time I'd almost finished working on the Forex Mastery program. Not, I wasn't working on the program for the sake of a program, but I was just working on it because I like to journal my trades. I like to document stuff. It helps me. You know, it helps me a lot when it comes to, you know, trading and stuff like that. So, I mean, like, it was very easy. I got back into trading in 2018. I logged on to, you know, my computer. I had all my videos, everything which has now become the Forex Mastery Program. So, guys, 
I used the Forex Mastery program. I took my, I relearned from my own previous trading and my own experiences. And I got back into trading in 2018 and I went straight into profitability. The Forex Mastery program is so damn powerful. Top down analysis to the world. Amazing. Once again, guys, ensure to grab it. The link is going to be around here somewhere. Grab it and don't dull yourself, okay? So I took it and from 2018, started trading again, 2019, 2020, you know, I was back to living a very decent life again. And 2021, end of 2021, was when the biggest break came. Um, just as I was putting, I was just chilling in Dubai. I'd moved to Dubai. So I was just chilling I, in Dubai, living my best life, just analyzing the charts. Or then I was doing a lot of Trader Talk. Um, for those of you guys who are not familiar with Trader Talk, Trader Talk is a segment of my YouTube channel where I actually come and do some live analysis whereby I'm always right nine out of 10 times. I use what I teach on the Forex Mastery program. I show you guys, I use it in real time. Uh, so you really want to be subscribed to this channel. Anyway, long story short, guys, I now... Um, 2021, end of 2021, apparently an old colleague of mine that I worked with closely when I was in London uh, gave me a call and said that he had been watching, not just him, him and his chief investment officer had been watching my YouTube videos and they had seen how well I was analyzing the market and the traders, now it, he called me to tell me that, oh, hi, Daps. first of all, he was working for a big hedge fund out in Qatar. Okay, and his chief investment officer had been watching. He and his chief investment officer had been watching my uh, Trader Talk videos. I think I was only on like Trader Talk episode nine or ten then. Now we have like maybe fifty nine episodes. So it was a long time ago, twenty twenty one, and he was like, "Wow, Daps, you know, my boss is so impressed." Blah blah blah. Long story short, you know, he tells his boss. He's reached out to me. His boss is like, "Mr. Willis, would you like to come out here? We want to talk potential fund management deal shit." because <laughs> you come out here i'm like all right cool so me i'm expecting them to send me a qatar airways ticket they send me a private jet you know and that was how dapper willis bounced back and i think that deal was absolutely the game changer so we took on 50 million dollars we made 120 no we took 50 million dollars that was the first deal we signed um after 12 months we had done 130 percent and then he came back down i think we closed the year that year at about 122 percent if i'm not mistaken so we literally flipped the 50 million dollars obviously thanks to the top-down analysis within 12 months and then we um they flew me back out uh, to doha and we renewed the deal they added some more money and that's what took the fund um from about 100 and 10 million dollars all the way so they added about 40 more million dollars so that was what now took me took our fund all the way up to 150 million us dollars that everybody was just coming at me like ah that boy is blah 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 are you sure i'm like guys you guys don't think a black man can do it i can do it you know thing about me from my grandfather was very well off he was very very well off uh, i was privileged to a lot of very um high level in uh, conversations as a kid so i've always thought in the in the in the region of millions of dollars 1000 percent you know so that was it 150 mil i've been waxing strong ever since and then we took 150 mil to about 300 million dollars um sometime this year and then just recently we have um the fund is now officially worth 650 uh, million us dollars which is absolutely huge um, so I was thinking maybe we were going to, so we were, we're, 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 we're trading about $300, $310 million. Um, I was thinking maybe they were going to add another 200 to make it half a bill. So I was thinking half a bill, you know, but they came and, you know, they came with some $350 million. So they were like, we're going to match what you've already grown. So yeah, we currently manage about $650 million US dollars. So yeah, that's absolutely huge, you know, for us. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, so yes, that Willis is officially worth 300 million US dollars. So obviously most of, uh, most of the trading proceeds from, from that. So we split the profit sharing 50, 50. Um, so yeah, obviously from my personal trading, from the new money that has just been put in, um, plus all the money that I've made over the years. So I think, I guess they just put two and two together. The bloggers put two and two together and they just, uh, I think, um, are they correct? 300 million dollars. Let me see. Are they correct? Mm. 
I guess they're pretty close. <laughs> I guess they're pretty close. Obviously, all my money didn't come from just trading for for uh, from um, the for the hedge fund. I also have my own money, and I also have my own businesses um, that I run as well. Um, guys, while whilst we're talking about this, wanted to obviously tell you guys about Willis Capital, the best prop firm in the world. Shout out to Willis Capital. I had to launch Willis Capital because I wanted traders to have the best prop firm experience out there. So Willis Capital. Currently, this program is currently sponsored by Willis Capital, the best prop firm in the world. <laughs> so guys, enough about my story. The essence of this video is you guys. I needed to give you guys some background story. It lasted a bit longer than I planned. But the question is, how can you guys do this for yourself? Okay, so I want you guys to sit down and listen. So let's break it down, you know, bit by bit. Yes, some more messages are coming in officially the biggest boy in Africa. Somebody just told me you're officially the biggest boy in Africa. I guess so, but enough about me. So guys, let's go over to you. Like the, the, the title of the video implies, trading your way to Forex success. How do you go about this? So guys, let's start from this, okay? Let's do a trading audit. Let's audit what is going on with you right now. You see, the major challenge, okay, when it comes to forex traders as to why they are not successful, it's two things. And let's be honest, strategy and greed. Some of your strategies are not working. <laughs> this strategy is not working. And you know it. And that's why a lot of traders, don't get me, don't, 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 don't listen to people that are like, ah, oh, it's not the strategy, it's your psychology. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> is the strategy is not working <laughs> you know so let's address these two things okay strategy and your emotions if we can get these two things right i feel like you guys would have learned a lot from today so let's look at strategy um the truth is and i'm going to be honest a lot of strategies out there actually work but the problem is people are using their strategy and their strategy alone you see the reason why your strategy is not profitable is because Think about it, guys. You can't see the bigger pictures. Most strategies are designed for entries and exits. They are not designed to analyze the market. What I mean, you might think you're analyzing the market, but what you're really doing on a lower time frame is scouting for entries and exits. Now, so how do you solve this problem? I'm not saying what well, if your entry and exit strategy is working, that's fine. But how do you solve this problem whereby your strategy is right sometimes and is wrong most of the time? All you need is the top-down analysis. Because what the top-down analysis does for you is you're able to analyze from a monthly time frame and see the bigger picture all the way down from the weekly down to the daily to the four hour and to the one hour where you execute. It's just like Google Maps. Imagine, think about it, that you're just driving, you don't know, they say, okay, I'm, I'm turn left, turn right, you're just getting into traffic. But top-down analysis shows you the overall flow of the market. This way, once you use the top-down analysis, you're like, okay, I'll give you an example. AUDUSD is heading south. I can see it from a bigger time frame perspective. Then I can come and use that strategy and look for sell opportunities. This way, it will improve your win rate. Simple. What you're lacking with your strategy right now is the top-down analysis. Add it. Add it to your strategy right now, and you're pretty much good to go. I guarantee you, you do this, guys, you will be very profitable and very successful. Okay, guys, once again, the top-down analysis can be found on the Forex Mastery Program in the link in the description or around here. So, we solve stra strategy is not a problem. I guarantee you, guys, you take the, you take the Forex Mastery Program, you learn the top-down analysis. With the strategy you already have, you are good. Top-down analysis will tell you when it's clear. Is the course clear? Is the coast clear? It will let you know. Is the coast clear? If the coast is not clear, it will tell you don't trade. If the coast is clear, it will tell you, go ahead. You are free to trade. Okay? Now, guys, the second thing is greed. Greed. You say, I'm not beating around the bush saying market side. No, 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 no. Greed. The problem is we as Forex traders, because of how we came into the market, you know, we saw, we've seen the flashy cars, the Lamborghinis and all that. So the average Forex trader wants to be like their mentor overnight. They want to, you can't make $300 million overnight. It's crazy. You see how long I've been trading for. So it's greedy. You want to, I know wherever it is you are, things are rough, but you want to make it work for you. But greed is killing your trading. 
So how do we combat greed? You need to have realistic expectations of the market. So guys, let's put together a challenge, okay? Let's do something like 10 to 15% every month. Keep it low, keep it chilled, keep it relaxed. 10 to 15% a month is very doable and achievable. And you're probably saying to yourself, oh, but that was easy for you to say this. You have a big, ac uh, big account size, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know, but prop firms are now here. Willis Capital is here to save the day. There's a $10,000 package. There's a $25,000 package. There's a $50,000 package. There's a $100,000 package. Go actually, the link to the Willis Capital will be in the description down below as always. Grab yourself a Willis Capital prop account and relax and do 10 to 15% every month. You'll be fine. Buy a 100K account, 10%. And you see, with the top down analysis, all you need to do is trade once. Trade once, you're good. 15, 10 to 15% a month. If you make 10, 15% a month on a 100K account, that's 15 grand you made this month. You do that three months consistently, you've done 50, almost 50% 50 of your account. That's huge. Trading only once or twice a month is well, Forex is not rocket science. It is so simple and straightforward. You need to trade less. What the top-down analysis will help you do is it will first of all filter all those rubbish lower time frame trades that you're always that's always eating your money. It will filter out everything straight away. You will now focus on quality trades over quantity trades. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're trading quality trades, okay once or twice or three times a month and you just have a target of 10 to 15 percent every month and you're just doing this calm on a big account size that is provided to you by willis capital guys i don't see any reason why in four five six months you don't have at least 50 to sixty thousand dollars in your account girls will be calling you <laughs> okay that lamborghini you know, that you want will be calling you. So ladies and gentlemen, I've been here for almost 45 minutes. Um, I don't want to bore you guys that much. Um, I think in the next video, I'm going to obviously go into more detail about um, maybe what, what I do in my next video. I think I have a Q&A session in my next uh, video. Day, some people want to ask me how much money have you made? How much was the most amount of money you made on a single trade? Blah, 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 blah. So I think that's the next Forex trading video that's coming out. But guys, to summarize this video is simple. Get the top down analysis. Get yourself a Willis Capital trading account. Keep your expectations low. 10 to 15% every month. In three to four months, five months, you would have bought yourself a nice Mercedes. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you guys now. Ensure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to get yourself the top-down analysis, which is a Forex Mastery program. The links are going to be in the description down below. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Actually, I'll catch you guys in the bank. Because I know after this, you guys are going to be profitable. I'll catch you guys in the bank where you're going to withdraw all your Forex trading profits. I'll see you there with my millions of dollars. You might be right there on the next counter with your own millions of dollars. And we'll say hi to each other. Once again, guys, type amen down below. If you stay to the end of this video, if you found this video helpful, smash the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy and peace out.